Hey, you got Fox here. Today I got a review of 93 overall Mike Vick. This is his legend card. It's got 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 93 agility, 94 throw power, 80 throw short, 83 throw medium, 86 deep, 93 on the run, 80 play action. His looseness is 92, spin move 90, juke move 92, carrying 76, which is actually pretty solid for a quarterback. Uh, but other than that, this is all around a great quarter. You're going to see a lot of amazing highlights here. And you know, I put both the good and bad in these uh, reviews, like whether they, they screw up like that on a fumble or not. So, you know, 76, even with conservative carry, he will miss this. Uh, but a play like that, you're going to see a lot of those. Those are absolutely, uh, I think the community refers to them as dots. Because he does two of the three major things you need from a quarterback better than any other card in this game. That's throw the ball with power run the ball, and throw the ball with accuracy. So accuracy is obviously something to be desired, but that's a Mike Vick play. There's not many, if any, other quarterbacks that make that play in the game. Maybe Cam Newton is 93 throw power, but, you know, Vick having the 94, and you can really chem it up to 95 if you want to change your chem over to the go deep chem. I prefer the accuracy. They're like... The way he's able to throw it between zones, even with these guys when they have 91 zone, like it's it's even hard for them to react to how fast the ball is coming in through them. Like the difference between this quarterback and say Andrew Lux, 88 throw power, it's pretty amazing. Like the, the safeties just don't get there on this car where they would on some of the lower like uh, the luck. Now, of course, there's a little bit of a, a price concern with Vic. He's going for 2.1 million coins at the moment, which is which is a lot, and you're paying for his skill, and he is the most game-changing card in the game at the moment, and, and really, you know, ever in Madden, most game-changing, so it makes sense. Like, this card, I, I, how did they not get a better animation on me at that point with that with that possession catch, but it got there. They weren't really able to react to it. Maybe maybe Mike Vick, instead of, you know, the low route running, you know how under 75 route running throws corner routes and, and 91 zone coverages for a loop, maybe Mike Vick's throw power does the same thing. But there's his speed. So about Mike Vick's speed, how much do you guys scramble? If you, Even if you don't scramble a lot, that's just kind of more of a, a Beckham play than a Vick. He got it there. Even if you don't scramble a lot, your opponent's going to have to spy a card in the field. So Mike Vick not only opens up, you know, scrambling for first downs, making plays like this, on the run, rerouted playmaker for a strike dot. Uh, he also forces your opponents to put spies in the field because you can scramble without spies. So when the spies in the field, that makes your run game open up because that guy is no longer very good against the run. They're going to get pancaked. They're going to get pushed down to a knee when they're on a spy. They're not going to play it very well unless, you know, they're like sent right away or something like that. Some, some Russian spy blitz glitch like I showed you guys in the channel earlier. Uh, but... Overall, Vic, his biggest downside besides for price is accuracy. And you've heard a lot of people talk about Vic just missing wide open passes, and they said this this latest patch screwed up his accuracy. Now, I I didn't really notice the the terrible accuracy as much. I did notice it when I went against an opponent in Mutt Draft who had Vic, and he tore me a new one, um, both with the scrambling and the throw power. And but he did miss a couple passes, and and then I I I, I heard other people. I had issues with him in Mutt squads. Someone's Somebody, I think I traded him to Joe, and he was using, and, and he missed a few passes. <sighs> yeah, I think that was in Mud Squads, and then so it might it maybe when I chem him up with the uh, what is it? Move the sticks chem. It, it reaches past the threshold on short and medium or something because at tier three you get to 82 short, 84 medium. Tier four would add another medium, and I didn't miss any drags that I remember with Vic just like completely biffing it. And down the field, he's got 86 deep, which is actually pretty decent. So if you need to throw deep, um, there's actually, uh, I just want to show that clip because he took a hit stick and didn't fumble, which is amazing. So make sure you're on conservative carry. Uh, really helps that. But like that, there, that's a perfect pass outside where the user could go to. You're going to see a ton of them. Oh, beautiful. Uh, just like that. They just can't get to it because he could just dot it right in the specific spot. I, I did notice there was, I, I think in my gameplay, I, I did a video before this of gameplay of Mike Vick before this review where I went through. And he, he missed, I think I showed it where he threw it behind the receiver. So even though he didn't like completely whiff on the pass, he still missed it enough to get picked because it was, it was behind Hopkins' shoulder, which was enough for the man coverage to actually uh, make up and snatch the ball. So, yes, the sh throw short is an issue, and it will be something that you run into. If you take, if you understand that you're going to miss maybe a ball or two a game now, although I didn't have that issue, try not to pass lead too much. Uh, and you won't miss too many, but if you understand, with a card like Vic, with the legs and everything that he brings with you, that the 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 opponents having to spy 
uh, the throw power, the ability to, to throw a ball into a spot that you probably won't get until like maybe the, the Favre card comes out, until maybe he gets like a 95 throw power or something, or 96, something insane like that. But Favre won't have Vic's legs. That's something you just don't get out of anything else. Cam Newton's the closest to this card, but I think Vic is superior to Newton's cards. I've tried the Newton card. Um, I haven't, no, I haven't tried the Team of the Week one, have I? Uh, but maybe, maybe down the road here I'll take a look at that one. Yeah, I have. I've tried that Team of the Week card. It was nothing special. Otherwise, out of 10, this Vic is, is very uh, up and down. Out of 10, love the card. 9.6. Thanks for watching. Call the action. I'll see you tomorrow.